Welcome to the Goal Zero Toolbox Talk series. Today's Toolbox Talk. Diet. The saying you are what you eat may be a little dramatic, but what you choose to eat can have a major effect on your health and how you feel. How you feel at work will have a significant effect on being able to and choosing to work safely. It is important to make sure the things you choose to eat and drink are helping improve your health and not hurt it. Diet has a big effect on your overall health. It has been linked to many different health issues, including many diseases and cancer. Heart disease is the number one cause of death in North America and is closely linked with diet. A proper diet reduces the chances of conditions such as high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and obesity which are all factors in whether a person has heart disease or not. Heart disease and other ailments like it have a major effect on your day in and day out. Whether it is the actual disease or medications you need to take to combat it, you will not be able to feel 100% well every day. Workplaces that are going to start a healthy eating program should focus on the main messages from Canada's food guide. They should also make sure that wherever their employees get their food, whether it's vending machines, canteens, or cafeterias these venues should offer some healthier food choices. Most people are aware that what we eat affects our weight and, ultimately, our health, but many people may not realize there can be a link between diet and mood. For example, research has been done that shows a link between vitamin D deficiency and depression. The sun is a major source of vitamin D for us, but we also get it from the food we eat. If you are not getting enough vitamin D, it may be the source of a down mood. Another example is research that has linked a low-carbohydrate diet and lack of energy. Participants in the study done by Arizona State University showed higher levels of fatigue and a lack of desire to exercise just two weeks into beginning a low-carb diet. While you may not have these issues, it is important to know that diet could be the source or trigger of a change in mood. If you are not feeling good, you cannot work to the best of your ability. Whether it is health issues or lack of energy, your diet plays a big part in safety at work. If your focus is not on the task or you do not have the energy to take the extra steps to ensure the task is being performed safely, you are putting yourself and others at risk. Take a moment to reflect on your diet and how it affects your work. A worker who is acclimatized to working in the heat or handling heavy loads through physical exertion tends to sweat more efficiently. But they lose less salt in their sweat than persons who are not used to physical work or the heat. A worker used to, or acclimatized to, lifting heavy loads, or working in the heat sweats more efficiently. The salt in a normal diet is usually enough to maintain the electrolyte balance and keep the body working well. People will consume enough salt throughout their regular diet, so adding more salt when performing heavy tasks is not usually necessary. The use of salt tablets is not generally recommended, because the salt does not enter the body system as fast as water. Too much salt can cause higher body temperatures and can also make someone feel thirsty or sick.